Remove top from new GE Fort load dryer. Do you know the model of your GE dryer? How old is it? GFD 85 has been 0 RS. How long has this been going on with your GE dryer? What have you tried so far? It is dented. I need to take the top off to pop out the dent. Anything else we should know to help you best? No. Hello, this is Brandon, your appliance expert. Viewing a parts breakdown for that model it looks like the top panel should have screws at the back, after those are removed it should slide backwards and lift up. It has screws at the back but it appears from the hardware that you can see under the top that it needs to slide forward. Usually you must remove the top to remove the front control panel, but it is possible GE has switched things around where the front console may need to come off to get the top panel off. That is what it looks like but there are no accessible screws anywhere on the front, top or side panels. I assume the control panel is held on by some type of plastic clips that I do not want to break trying to get it off. It looks like screws are hidden behind the panel on the left, https colon slash www.departs.com slash lookup slash 297516 slash 2266344 hash diagram. Try that panel off. I hate to tear up a brand new dryer trying to fix it. This dryer may also be similar to this washer. I'm looking for video demonstration specifically for the dryer still, https colon slash www.youtube.com slash watch. V equals zero keeled 104 HFK. Obviously the dryer does not have the detergent drawer on the left. I have not been able to find anything on YouTube for this new of a model. I was hoping someone had access to the repair manual. Repair manuals are generally not available except from the manufacturer for their authorized servicers. I thought I knew on this one but I'm going to opt out because I'm not sure, another expert might be able to help. Sorry about that. Okay thanks. Hi. Pull off control knob. Remove screw behind knob. Lift control panel up and unplug. You will now see the screws holding the main top down. Read above post. There is no screw behind the control knob. Just a QR code and a small computer chip. There is. File attached, 1S23S41. Sorry. Bad breakdown I guess. Open door and look if any screws going up into top panel. This is such a new model that there just doesn't seem to be much info out there. I don't know why they had to make it so difficult. Like new cars, they don't want you messing with them. Look at pick I found. Does the cover to the left come off and screws behind it? Nothing. The only exposed screws are on the back. I took them all off and the back panel comes loose except that it is still attached to the top. That's what I am thinking but trying to figure out how without scratching it or breaking plastic clips. The most suspect spot is this little panel on the left side. Zoom in on the little nickel size notch to the left of the chrome trim. Seems like the spot. Remove that. And look for screws holding the panel on. In fact I see now that part is called screw cover. Any tips on removing it without scratching the paint? 
I hate these things. Tiny screwdriver in rag. Why are you taking apart to begin with? The laundry room got painted today and my mother-in-law slipped and dented the top. I just need to get the top off to pop out the dent. Okay. File attached, T5TP527. File attached, 5LZSL24. File attached, LPQV7TG. Mystery solved. So you can answer anyone else. Pop off little screw cover on left side and remove screw. Slide left side of front panel to the left to remove it. Remove two more screws behind that panel on left side. Push entire control panel to the right which pops it off a post on the right end. Remove four screws along top and slide top panel forward to remove. Nice. Good luck with Dan. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.